Hi, Patricia King here. I have a number of prophetic words and words of knowledge here today that might minister to you specifically. The first word I have is regarding someone who you're, you're working in a workplace with a person who is of a different religion. It's, um, it's a religion actually that works against Christianity and, and it's been frustrating to you because, because you have these convictions but you can't share them and you feel this spiritual warfare against you because of this person's religious beliefs. Well, I see a couple of things. Number one, today God's going to put a dome of light and protection around you and he's surrounding you with favor as a shield. And what he wants you to do is make a quote from Psalm uh, 5 verse 12 that says that the Lord surrounds his righteous with favor as a shield. As you decree that over yourself, and it would look like this, the Lord surrounds me with favor as a shield, then that favor is going to be put around you in the spirit, and I see angels of favor being dispatched so that the spiritual energy from that person that's coming against you, you will not, you will not feel anymore. The Lord says also to remind you that he is light, and light penetrates the darkness, so the darkness can't come against you, but as you deliberately by faith just release from your heart the light of the glorious gospel, it is actually going to touch those in the darkness, and the darkness will not touch you. There is going to be a deliverance for you from feeling like a victim today to a victor. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. Um, these these uh, forces cannot touch you. I also believe that as you pray for that person's salvation with absolute love in your heart, that there's going to be a revelation given to them by the Lord that is going to be amazing. Gwen Shaw has shared some testimonies about Hindus and Muslims and people of other faiths that have had visitation from the Lord. He's just come right into their vision and because of that, uh, they have gotten saved. Believe for that and this person is going to come. You put their name before the Lord and the Lord will make sure that they come to know Jesus Christ. So there you go. Whoa, be blessed. Receive a blast of his love right now. There's also uh, someone that I see that you're going to be going on a mission trip to Africa pretty soon. The Lord says get prayed up because miracles are going to happen through you. You're going to see right before your eyes as you take the steps of faith, you're going to see miracles of healing and deliverance and freedom. You're going to see uh, uh, miracles of provision. It's, it's going to be amazing. So start praying now, sowing into the spirit for this trip that you're going on and go with expectation. So when you see a need, bring about the uh, answer for that need by faith, by receiving from God what's needed for that individual's lives, and you will see miracles right before your eyes. Go prepared in Jesus' name. I also see someone else who you are building a home right now. There's something that happened with the contract that didn't work out properly, or there's some kind of um, squabbling over something in the contract with the builder. And in the name of Jesus, I call forth a victory in that for you. In the name of Jesus, I call forth absolute honesty and a disclosure of what is true in Jesus' name. And you're going to see things shift. So just stand upright in the Lord and make sure that you are standing with God on the promise and that breakthrough is going to come for you. There's someone else that I'm seeing who is believing for finances to buy a building. You've been trying to get the funding for it and you know you've gone to a few places and there's a few snags but the funding is going to come through. I feel like the Lord's saying that. Just hang in there. The funding will come through and if one door closes just keep knocking because you are going to get the funds. God wants you to have the building that you are believing for. And that reminds me of our building project. You know just please pray for us because we're building a brand new studio right now that should be up by the end of 2010. We're believing for the finances right now. We are trusting that we will not have to go into a bank mortgage so that by the end of 2010 we'll be able to go in without a bank mortgage. And um, we actually um, you know, could, could do it with a number of people just giving $1,000 each. We could clear the whole thing very, very quickly. So you might be one of those people. I invite you to go online because if you go into the Give Now section, you'll actually see the building project. We have the pictures up of the, uh, of the building, the artist 
rendering of that. And we also have the floor plan where we're going to have our studio. We're going to have the edit suites. We're going to have the makeup room, the wardrobe rooms, the administration of offices and everything. We're going to be able to reach over 100 million people every single week through what we produce there. We're going to have our acting school there, our XP Media boot camps, our screenwriting training, um, our uh, uh, webcasting production is going to be done out of that place. We're going to be producing entertainment media as well as our weekly television uh, program. So it's going to be an amazing building. It's going to be like a, a true altar of the Lord where his word goes out to the nations. So into that. And as you do, so into it financially, say, Lord, I'm sowing into your building so that you can advance your kingdom. And I receive back a hundred to a thousand fold return on my seed so that I can pursue the building you put on my heart for myself and for the advancement of the blessing in my life. And that's the way the Lord works. So we want to encourage you in that. Also, we just encourage you to go on the events page for xpmedia.com and just just see what's coming up. We we resource the body of Christ. We want you to be fed spiritually. There's so many great events coming. Also, you might be a ministry and you want to become a channel host at xpmedia.com. Why don't you go online and find out more about how you can become a channel host, have your own media channel that sends out media worldwide to the nations. God is raising up a media army to put out really good quality content of the Word of God. You don't have to have a television program. You can do just what I'm doing now. Just get in front of a camera and deliver the word of God to the nations every single day. And it's easy. It's inexpensive. You know, on television, we spend thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every single month on airtime. But on internet media, it is not so. You don't have to look at the thousands and thousands most of the time. A lot of times it's just, just very inexpensive. You know, we want the whole body of Christ to rise up. We have very, very um, um, inexpensive ways that you can have your own channel and get the word of God out to the nations. Why don't you contend for a media channel? Find out more about it. Also, you might have a business or an event or a product that you want to advertise. XPmedia.com. We encourage you to go online and find out ways that you can advertise on XPmedia.com and reach thousands of people every single day who will see what you want them uh, to know about. And so God bless you. Have a wonderful day in Jesus. I'm excited about this week. It's going to be amazing for you and for yours.